Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Have you ever noticed that when you're making a FaceTime call with someone, you're not actually making eye contact with that person? I mean, of course you have, right? Because in order to actually make eye contact, you would actually have to be looking at the camera and not the screen. And why would anyone do that if the whole point of a FaceTime call is to actually see the person that you're talking to and not necessarily looking at an empty void, which is the camera? Well, in the latest iOS 13 beta 3 that was just released yesterday, there is a new FaceTime attention correction feature inside of the FaceTime section of the settings app. As of right now, it appears as though this feature is only available for the iPhone XS and the XS Max devices that are running the previously mentioned iOS 13 Beta 3. But luckily for us, and for this video, I actually happen to have an iPhone XS Max right here, so we can actually test this out. So this is me making a FaceTime call using my iPhone 10 running iOS 12. And as you can see, if I were to look up at the camera, it will look as if I'm looking straight forward and making eye contact with the person. But if I look at my screen, which is what I do for the majority of this call, like a normal FaceTime call, it looks like I'm looking down and at my screen. This makes total sense. If I was to mount a monitor above my camera right now, and I looked up at that monitor instead of the camera, you'll notice that my eyes are not looking at the camera. I'm just looking at the monitor. So if I look straight at the lens, which is what I'm doing right now, it looks like we're making eye contact. Now, if we slide in iOS 13 running the new beta three with the FaceTime attention correction feature turned on, you'll see that if I look up at the FaceTime camera, it appears as if I'm actually looking up at the camera. But if I look directly at the screen, like I would for a normal FaceTime call, it would look as if I'm facing straight forward, which is pretty crazy. So now anytime you make a FaceTime call, it'll feel like a much more natural conversation with both parties making eye contact by staring at their screens and not at the cameras. So how does this work exactly? Well, it appears to use an AR kit depth map captured through the front facing true depth camera to adjust where your eyes are looking to give it that more personal and natural connection that we talked about with that person. If I take an object like this straw, as you see here in the video, and I put it in front of my eyes, you'll notice the straw becomes warped. And every time I pass it through my eyes, which is where the AR kit depth map is actually focusing in on, of course, my eyes, you'll see that the straw is having a warped effect. So it's pretty cool to see the hardware and software working in tandem together to make it seem as if my eyes are looking straight at the camera when in reality they're actually looking at the screen. It's a pretty cool feature that will definitely make FaceTime calls an even better experience moving forward. So go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this new feature coming in iOS 13 down in the comments section below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.